About 70% of breast cancer patients are estrogen positive, but doctors can't predict which of them will respond to standard estrogen blocking drugs. 40% of them will not. As a matter of fact, their cancers grow despite treatment. Health reporter our Haley Hernandez shows us a researcher in California who has found a diagnostic test that may tell doctors who will respond and who won't. Helen Ekman was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 42 and 49. And then surprisingly, at um, 65, I was diagnosed with um, breast cancer that had gone in and metastasized into my bones. She's estrogen positive, but there wasn't a reliable test to see if she'd respond to standard therapy. You're a good boy. The circularity. Researcher Swasti Harichuran is working to change that. We identified one particular protein that when it's lost or defective in women with breast cancer, they do not respond to standard care. That's about a third of ER positive women in Dr. Harichuran's study. She hopes to use an existing test that identifies the DNA defect in colorectal patients and a drug for metastatic breast cancer for it treatment resistant patients. That drug is already FDA approved. It's already in the clinic. The diagnostic test for this protein is already FDA approved and in the clinic. It's just a question of bringing them both together. Existing yeah. approval means the test and treatment can get to patients more quickly. No Helen's golden doodle Dakota keeps things light while she presses on for herself, her two daughters, and seven granddaughters. My hope is that even though I've gone through this journey um, painfully but well, I, I would hope that my daughters and granddaughters won't have to go through it at all. The drug has worked in a clinical trial already. Haricharin estimates that the diagnostic test will be available in the next five years. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.